and I'm confident that will be uh, available in many cities in the U.S. by the end of this year. Yes, this is the latest prototype of the Tesla Semi, spotted leaving the Texas factory at 3 in the morning, sporting a design completely unlike any of the prototypes currently in operation. The truth is, it's been eight years, and Tesla still hasn't released any new footage of the semi-trucks. The project has been delayed for years for various reasons, and many people believe it's partly due to the focus on Tesla Optimus and FSD, two areas Elon Musk has been heavily invested in recently. As of now, the Tesla Semi is still not in its final version. According to Tesla, the truck is expected to undergo significant design changes and battery upgrades in preparation for mass production later this year. This could very well be the long-rumored Semi Gen 2, which will be built at the new Giga Semi factory. The plan is currently about 70% complete, with the final steps involving the installation of machinery and production lines to manufacture 50,000 semis next year. Elon Musk has confirmed that the upgraded semi will be more affordable, mainly because Tesla will be using a more efficient type of battery. This is the first Class 8 electric truck powerful enough to meaningfully replace diesel trucks. Its operating costs are significantly lower, and it's far more efficient than traditional diesel trucks. In today's episode, we'll dive deeper into the latest updates on these heavy-duty trucks, as revealed by Tesla and Elon Musk during the 2025 shareholder meeting and in Elon's most recent interview last week. Welcome to Tesla Car World. How has the design of the 2026 Tesla Semi Gen 2 changed? For the first time, an electric truck can travel 800 miles and save 1 million gallons of diesel. That's equivalent to $3.5 million in savings. No wonder Elon Musk always calls the Semi a money-making machine. Of course, the Semi has been stuck in limbo for quite a while, about eight years since 2017, for various reasons. But the good news is, mass production now seems to be officially ramping up, with around 10,000 Semis expected by the end of this year and 50,000 next year. Giga Semi is fully capable of hitting these numbers. The 2025 Tesla annual shareholders meeting gave the public a first look at the redesigned Tesla Semi, marking a significant turning point for the company's electric truck lineup. This is not merely a routine upgrade but a comprehensive overhaul, setting the stage for the Tesla. Semi 2026, a version poised to become one of Tesla's three core mass production models next year. Elon Musk emphasized that this truck would feature substantial changes, from operational performance and payload capacity to advanced self-driving capabilities, making it a product that is not only modern in design but also technologically superior. According to Elon Musk, the Tesla Semi has been upgraded to be more efficient, increased payload capacity, and notably, designed with full self-driving in mind. The new version features a redesigned chassis, all-new headlights, and numerous other technical improvements aimed at optimizing performance and driver experience. At the same time, the Tesla Semi's price will see a slight adjustment, dropping compared to the current version, undoubtedly welcome news for drivers and businesses who have been eagerly awaiting this vehicle. Musk also candidly admitted that the Semi's currently in use at Tesla, as well as those delivered to customers, are essentially prototypes. These versions are primarily intended to gather real-world feedback to refine the design before full-scale production. As a result, the Tesla Semi's design has seen little change since 2017. However, the current moment underscores the need for a refreshed look to appear more modern and, importantly, to integrate autonomous driving capabilities, heralding the era of the world's first Class 8 truck capable of fully autonomous freight transport. At the event, Musk highlighted that the Tesla Semi's overhaul can be considered a comprehensive upgrade, extending beyond mere aesthetic changes to encompass enhanced performance, technology, and utility. Visually, the most noticeable upgrade is the front end. The new headlights draw inspiration from the Model Y and Cybertruck, giving the Semi a modern, aerodynamic, and refined appearance compared to the original prototype. While many admired the distinctive eyes of the original Semi's headlights, the new version features a light bar stretching across the front of the cab, creating a more cohesive, dynamic look aligned with Tesla's contemporary design language. Additionally, the new front bumper and rounded roofline contribute to a smoother, sleeker appearance while optimizing airflow around the truck. Another key improvement is the drag coefficient. The current Semi already boasts an exceptionally low drag coefficient for a Class 8 truck at just 0 0.36 allowing it to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in only 20 seconds, an impressive figure compared to traditional diesel competitors. 
the upgraded version is expected to reduce the drag coefficient to around 0.34, which is significant. Even a 0.02 improvement in drag can save 5 to 7% of energy, extending driving range by dozens of miles per charge. Compared with conventional diesel trucks, which have drag coefficients ranging from 0.65 to 0.70, the Tesla Semi virtually cuts through the wind on highways, reducing energy consumption, enhancing acceleration, and minimizing wind noise. The windshield design has also been substantially refined. The previous version featured a large windshield, providing an almost panoramic view but generating significant air resistance at high speeds. In the new version, the windshield is narrower and more curved, allowing air to flow more smoothly and reducing turbulence around the A-pillars, thereby improving the overall drag coefficient. This design also helps cool the cabin and battery more effectively by limiting direct sunlight, simultaneously enhancing aerodynamics and driver comfort. Regarding cargo capacity, the upgraded Tesla Semi is expected to support higher payloads, enabling fleets to transport more goods per trip. Currently, the maximum allowable weight, including the truck and cargo, is 82,000 pounds. With this improvement, the truck's own weight could be reduced, optimizing cargo capacity and energy efficiency. The current long-range Semi weighs around 23,000 pounds, and chassis improvements combined with lighter materials could lower weight, boost performance, and maintain safety standards. Overall, the 2026 Tesla Semi is not just a design refresh but a fusion of operational efficiency, payload capacity, autonomous features, and aerodynamic enhancements. It clearly demonstrates Tesla's ambition to lead in electric truck technology, aiming for vehicles that are energy efficient, environmentally friendly, and safe for drivers. Changes in appearance, from headlights, front bumper, and roofline to windshield, deliver aesthetic and aerodynamic harmony. The low drag coefficient, strong acceleration, and increased cargo capacity position the Tesla Semi as a compelling option for logistics businesses while ushering in the world's first era of fully autonomous electric trucks. How do weight, battery, and range impact the Tesla Semi sleeper cab? Adding a sleeper berth to the cabin has required Tesla to completely redesign the interior to optimize space while expanding the rear section to provide drivers with comfortable living quarters. This inevitably increases the vehicle's weight, potentially reaching around 29,000 to 30,000 pounds. When combined with a heavy battery pack, the truck's payload capacity would decrease. One possible solution is to reduce battery capacity to balance weight and driving range. The current 500-mile Tesla Semi uses a 900-kilowatt-hour battery pack, weighing approximately 10,000 pounds. If Tesla adopts 4680 battery technology as in the Cybertruck, the company might reduce capacity to 750 to 800 kilowatt hour to limit weight. In this scenario, the sleeper cab version's range could drop to around 350 to 400 miles, with an optional extended range package available at a higher cost, similar to Tesla's approach with the Cybertruck. On the other hand, Tesla could choose to maintain the truck's existing range. For a long-haul freight vehicle, range and payload remain the most critical factors. The Cybertruck can afford to sacrifice range because buyers prioritize performance and off-road capability. By contrast, the Tesla Semi, designed for long-distance freight transport, cannot compromise on driving range. Additionally, the Tesla Semi's price in future versions is expected to rise above $250,000, similar to the nearly 60% increase the Cybertruck experienced compared to its 2019 announced price. Part of the vehicle's cost is offset by government incentives. At PepsiCo's fleet, 18 out of 21 semis were covered through a $4.5 million subsidy, highlighting that the semi's cost is nearly double that of a diesel truck. However, the vehicle can still save about $200,000 in fuel over the first three years, helping offset the initial purchase price. Price increases also help Tesla cover the costs of building high-capacity megacharger stations which are far more complex and expensive than standard superchargers. The sleeper cab version promises RV-like comfort for drivers on trips exceeding 500 miles. However, it faces multiple challenges. Increased weight from the sleeper, reduced battery capacity to balance weight, leading to either decreased range or higher costs to maintain it. Tesla must carefully weigh the decision between preserving range 
and optimizing overall performance. Although the Volvo VNR has attracted attention in the U.S., it still cannot surpass the Tesla Semi. A stronger competitor is the Volvo Supertruck 2, an advanced hybrid vehicle with performance improvements of up to 170% over the previous generation. The Supertruck 2 features an aerodynamically optimized design, reducing drag by roughly 50% compared to 2009 standards and 20% compared to Supertruck 1. It uses a 48-volt hybrid system, achieving fuel efficiency of 16 miles per gallon, significantly higher than typical diesel commercial trucks. However, the Tesla Semi maintains an edge in energy efficiency. The fully electric Semi consumes about 1.7 kilowatt hour per mile, equivalent to $2.97 for 16 miles, much cheaper than diesel. In terms of weight, hybrids like the Supertruck 2 are lighter than the Semi because they rely on a smaller battery pack, with the diesel engine providing most of the power, whereas the Semi must carry a large battery to operate entirely on electricity. The Semi is allowed to carry a total weight of up to 82,000 pounds thanks to government regulations, yet it remains heavier than the hybrid. Regarding the electrical system, the Supertruck 2 uses 48 volts, while the Tesla Semi currently operates on 12 per 24 volts. The upcoming sleeper cab version is expected to switch to 48 volts like the Cybertruck, improving energy efficiency and supporting new technologies such as electronic suspension and autonomous driving. The Supertruck 2 is likely priced on par with or below the Semi, as Volvo's current models range from $120,000 to $200,000, while the Semi has risen to approximately $250,000. In production terms, only about 90 Tesla Semis have been manufactured so far, mainly for PepsiCo. Elon Musk stated that mass production will not begin before late 2024, delayed from the previously announced plan of 50,000 units. Causes for the delay include prioritizing the production of the Model 3, Model Y, and Cybertruck to meet the 1.8 million vehicle sales target, as well as component shortages, such as batteries and chips. Additionally, Tesla wants to gather real-world feedback from PepsiCo drivers to refine the sleeper cab version. Despite increasing competition from Daimler, Volvo, and Rivian, the Tesla Semi remains the practical leader. It has logged 1,076 miles in a single day with three fast charges transporting over 70,000 pounds, nearly reaching the 82,000 pounds limit, and outperformed competitors in the run-on-less event in terms of average daily distance. How to order a Tesla Semi for 2026 version. Securing a Tesla Semi for 2026 requires understanding Tesla's current ordering process, which has shifted from public reservations to direct engagement with the company's commercial vehicle division. In August 20, 22, Tesla closed its public semi-reservation system to focus on fulfilling early commitments and pilot programs. High-profile logistics companies such as Walmart, Cisco, Anheuser-Busch, UPS, DHL, and J.B. Hunt already placed orders that are slated for production allocations in 2026. Companies outside this early group now need to work directly with Tesla's commercial team, as standard consumer ordering channels are no longer available. Previously, Tesla's reservation system employed a tiered deposit structure designed to prioritize production. Customers initially placed a $5,000 credit card deposit, followed by a $15,000 wire transfer within 10 days, with additional $20,000 transfers required for each extra truck. Deposits were refundable until a formal purchase agreement was signed, at which point payments became non-refundable. When production orders are confirmed, Tesla issues a purchase. Agreement detailing vehicle configurations, pricing, delivery timelines, and fees, with reservation deposits credited toward the total cost. The 2026 semi production will first be utilized internally by Tesla to test performance and efficiency under real world conditions within its own logistics network. External deliveries to customers are expected in the latter half of 2026, prioritizing early reservation holders. Fleet operators can anticipate delivery confirmations around mid-year, with handovers taking place in the third and fourth quarters. Pricing for the 2026 Semi has not been officially announced, though industry analysts anticipate an increase from the original 217 estimate of $150,000 to $180,000. Many suggest budgeting between $250,000 and $300,000 per truck. Despite the higher upfront cost, the Semi offers lower operating expenses, reduced maintenance, and enhanced driver efficiency, making it financially attractive, over a five. 
to seven-year period. Tesla's redesigned semi demonstrates remarkable technical capabilities. Energy consumption is approximately 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile, delivering over 500 miles of range. Ultra-fast charging at 1.2 megawatts allows roughly 350 highway miles to be added in about 30 minutes via Tesla's proprietary charging network. Payload capacity is increased, maximizing cargo efficiency. Additionally, the Semi is designed to eventually integrate full self-driving functionality, signaling a significant advancement in automation and driver assistance. For fleet managers, early engagement with Tesla's commercial division is crucial. Companies should prepare detailed fleet usage analyses and coordinate with Tesla's infrastructure team to install megachargers, ensuring their operations are ready for the Semi's deployment. Tesla is entering a pivotal stage in bringing its all-electric semi-truck to market. The dedicated semi-manufacturing facility in Reno, Nevada, is nearing completion. The factory is transitioning from construction to equipment installation and production preparation, marking a key milestone in Tesla's mission to transform heavy-duty trucking. Spanning approximately 1.7 million square feet adjacent to Gigafactory Nevada, the semi-production facility has achieved significant construction milestones. By late 2025, external work was complete, the building structure was enclosed and weatherproofed, and internal equipment installation began. Drones have observed heavy machinery, including large stamping equipment being delivered to the site. Company vehicles now occupy the parking areas, signaling readiness for production staff deployment. The facility reflects Tesla's commitment to high-volume semi-production, with a designed annual capacity of 50,000 trucks once fully ramped. This surpasses earlier pilot production efforts, allowing Tesla to address what Elon Musk describes as ridiculous demand for electric trucks. Initial production is set to begin in late 2025 with limited builds for validation. Lars Moravi, Tesla's vice president of vehicle engineering, noted that larger production runs will begin toward the end of the year, followed by online builds early next year, ramping to full volume in the second half of 2026. This timeline positions the second half of 2026 as the beginning of commercial availability for the broader logistics industry. Tesla will act as its first customer, integrating semis into its supply chain, while early reservations from major logistics companies will secure priority delivery. Tesla unveiled a major semi-redesign at its 2025 annual shareholder meeting. The refreshed model incorporates lessons from pilot fleet operations, featuring a sleeker chassis with Model Y-inspired headlights, an improved front bumper for aerodynamics, a smaller, wrapped windshield for enhanced driver visibility, and a more rounded roofline. The updated semi consumes 1.53 kilowatt-hours per kilometer, surpassing earlier specifications, and offers a range of over 800 kilometers, allowing for long-haul operations without frequent charging. Payload capacity has also been increased, improving economic returns per trip. So has Tesla's prioritization of developing Optimus and FSD over the semi for many years been a wise strategy, or has it slowed down the development of the electric truck market? Please share your opinion in the comments section below this video. Thanks for watching our video. Subscribe now so you don't miss the next breaking Tesla update. It's coming in just two days. If you want to explore more exciting information about Tesla EV or Tesla Bot, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. Also, make sure to turn on notifications so you never miss our latest videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.